It's a horrible idea, man. What am I doing with my life? I'm so not happy right now. I don't know if anyone out there is gonna be able to complete this challenge. This challenge sucks. Drive me to the hospital later? If you throw up, do you lose? Oh. What's up, muscle and strength? It's Sadiq Hadzovic, and today I'm doing a 10,000 clean calorie challenge. Before we get started, I want to go over some basic ground rules. First and foremost, what constitutes as a clean calorie? Well, what I would say is, I would say anything that I would eat on a traditional bodybuilding prep, such as turkey, eggs, steak, chicken, you guys get the point. To complete a calorie challenge of this magnitude, we needed to do some preparation and planning beforehand. So we sat down and developed a meal plan in order to strategically attack this 10,000 calorie goal. Now, a general meal plan is something I follow all year long, but for this particular challenge, we push the meals to the extreme. You may notice that the portion and quantities are blown out of proportion. Now, rule number one is this challenge must be completed within a 24 hour time limit. Rule number two, all calories are coming from foods that I typically eat on a bodybuilding plan. Rule number three, Please keep in mind that this video is for entertainment purposes only. I do not recommend you guys eat like this on a daily basis. Now, with all the ground rules laid, let's finally get started on my 10,000 clean calorie challenge. That was good. What, that was good, what do you mean? That was perfect. It's a horrible idea, man. Six whole eggs. I mean, <laughs> we're going to die, bro. Meal number one, we have six whole eggs, 12 ounces of 80-20 ground beef, and get this, guys, we have 426 grams of white jasmine rice. So this package is one pound, which means it's going to cook down to about 14, 15 ounces, roughly. And we're going to eat 12 ounces of that. Here's a size comparison. And you are probably gonna have to eat all of it. So that's only one. I gotta eat one and a half of these bags. So that's 426 grams of cooked rice. On those macros, we've included three tablespoons of ketchup. All right, you're up. All right, let's get to it. All right, first five calories were successfully eaten. <laughs> Not the way I want to be remembered on YouTube. This video is gonna live forever. I feel pretty horrible right now, but we are at the last bite. This is the first 2,000 calories going down the hatch. Right, it is now 8.06. First meal is done. I'm gonna rest for a bit. Thinking about drinking some water. I hope it doesn't backfire on me. I hope water is a good idea. I'm not really sure what to do with my water on this challenge, but I'm definitely gonna digest and take a little nap before I get to meal two.
All right, guys, let's head off and train some legs. Had a whole bunch of calories already, only one meal in. So let's try to burn off as much as we could. I definitely don't want to lounge around and fall asleep. I'm still burping up a little bit of the last meal that we just ate, so. It's so hard to metabolize 2,000 calories. That's Shabir. So I'm gonna post a picture of my friend Shabir on Instagram, tag him in it to let him know that we're here. What's up, muscle stuff in the house? Represent. What's up, baby? All right, guys, so I usually drink water during my workout, but in good nature, trying to get in all these calories, I got about 200 calories of Gatorade going down right now. All right, guys, workout is done. We got about 30 minutes till we get home. So I'm gonna put another 240 calories down to hatch. This is actually a protein bar that I made and created because let's be honest, throughout the years, I've tried so many protein bars. I just wasn't really happy with the quality or the macronutrients. So I decided to make my own. Now, keeping with the theme of clean calories, when I formulate this bar, all my ingredients are coming exclusively from whole foods. So it's not like any of those sugar candy bars or protein bars you've eaten in the past. So we got about 23 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein, and 12 grams of fats. Put so much textural elements in here, like we have little protein wafers. Give it texture. Peanut butter, about 40% of this bar is peanut butter actually. Honey, oatmeal, all real food which is what a bodybuilder needs. We have enough time, 7,500 calories. Even if I have to blend some of the meals, I'm committed. So we got meal number two right now. We have 12 ounces of New York strip steak. We have 518 grams of red potatoes, one tablespoon of olive oil, barbecue sauce, and 50 grams of walnuts. Whoops. This is just an absurd amount of food. See what 518 grams of red potato looks like. Five ten. Five fourteen. You <laughs> four more, dude. That doesn't look that bad, does it? Two pounds of steak. Two pounds of steak, bro. 50 grams of walnuts. I don't matter, my happiness doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the task. The task is the only thing that matters. I need a plate for my steak and a plate for my potato. That's the f***ed up thing, dude. All right, 12 on the dot. What am I doing with my life? So with this meal, I'm allowed to have 70 something grams of barbecue sauce. And some people out there may not think that this is clean, but if it's clean enough for Ronnie Coleman, then guess what? It's clean enough for me.
Let's say you just hit a wall at some point. You're doing fine, you're doing fine, you're doing fine, and then boom. So that's left. You want to go for a walk? Yeah. You could cool down and I could yeah, I'm down. talk about what we're doing. What's up is like, I feel like a bearer that just woke up from hibernation. That's what I feel like right now. Oh man, going for a walk. Maybe I'll help me metabolize this food. Things are floating around, things are distended. I want to try to expend some calories right now. 10 minute walk is probably good for like 30, 40 calories, but I'll take it. I ate already in the first two meals, I ate my entire, entire calorie intake that I usually eat in six meals. Meal number three is going down. We're doing 12 ounces of salmon, one tablespoon of olive oil, 426 grams of jasmine white rice, and 56 grams of cashews. Now, we got the oven preheated at 400 degrees. We're gonna bake this salmon instead of making it on the stove. In the beginning of this challenge, I was very negative, and there, I, I was thinking there's no way that I could complete this. But now, after we got the first two hard meals out of the way, I'm actually pretty positive about the outcome. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. So, you, you want to get big? 347. Got a lot of rice, man. All right, now we just wait for a salmon. I mean, you guys are probably wondering what this is doing here. I'm tired of chewing, so I'm gonna attempt to blend this meal. I'm gonna blend the rice with the salmon and um, just add some water just to get it down. And <laughs> let's see how it goes. So I got my rice. I got my salmon, my delicious salmon. Oh God, what am I doing with my life? All right, meal number three. So real quick. Oh no, this is this is not looking good. <laughs> uh, looks like vomit. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat this like a soup. I don't know if anyone out there is gonna be able to complete this challenge. This challenge sucks. If you throw up, do you lose? Yeah. I would think so. I would think so, huh? Yeah, I think Steve would be done, yeah. Damn, I shouldn't have blended it. Does it taste nasty? I mean, you're pretty close, dude. I think you're uh, more than halfway now. So if you guys are trying to play along at home, I have a tip for you. I think that my strategy backfired. I should have thought it out a little more. There's so much rice in this meal that it just absorbed all the water. Instead of making a shake, like a liquidy drinkable shake, they actually make like a custard. So probably in hindsight, I should have just ate it just as it was without blending it up. Finish it off, you got this. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> Make some room. First of all, there's no need to be doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I, why, why am I doing this? Oof. Oh, I smelled it. Uh, Come on, bro. Come I think on, I just man. tasted what you're eating. Bro. I think I just tasted You got bird. jokes right now, bro? The texture is so bad, and it's getting cold, so it's like a cold, grinded up fish. Please comment, like, and subscribe. After this meal, I'm still at 5,800 calories. All right, 56 grams. together. Flipping pancakes, so much red burger, stuffed peppers. We've never been through this, man. It is meal four, another 1900 calorie meal. I have 150 grams of dry measured cream of rice, 50 grams of whey protein, two tablespoons of honey, I have 60 grams of raisin, 150 gram of banana, and 96 grams of peanut butter. Wow, that's only 15 grams. Burning some calories before I consume this meal. Come on, get it. All right. Halfway. Yeah, you're crushing this meal, damn. Mm, kinda. You feel like right Yeah, it's making me sweat like crazy. It'll be huge tomorrow, bro. Drive me to the hospital later? If I call you at like 2 a.m., you're not gonna pick up? You're not gonna, you put on silent? Really? Bro, this meal's hard, Dan. You lied to me. Last bite. You guys, you guys happy? Last bite. Yeah. There we go. Hey. I did it, bitches. All right, so the plan is, we have one more meal left, and we have 24 hours completed. So I really wanna sleep. Eating all these calories makes you very tired. I'm gonna sleep, get up early. We're gonna meet back in the morning. All right guys, it's early in the morning, but I wanna squeeze in at least another 600 calories before bed. So I am gonna do another Gatorade and I'm gonna do two more Golden Bars before bed. So this is 682 calories. Go back to bed, wake up, and uh, get this last meal in, which I cannot wait for. Guys, so uh, this was actually one of my favorite meals. Uh, more of a snack, more of a guilt-free anytime snack. Uh, these bars are absolutely delicious. Probably the easiest thing I ate this whole challenge. 
If you guys want to have one of the best bars on the market, I'm not saying this because it is mine. Obviously, I'm very biased, but check out that link in the bio, and uh, it's a great way to support me. And uh, like I said, having one of the best bars that there is. Peace out, back to bed. This is the last, the final meals, the last 2,000 calories. What we have is nine ounces of 8515 ground turkey, 426 grams of white jasmine rice, 120 grams of avocado, one tablespoon of olive oil. 6,000 calories is a lot, 10,000, it's ridiculous. It's insane. Groundhog's Day. All right, so you have 24 minutes. were the hardest meals, but looking back, I would say I made a catastrophic mistake grinding up that fish and rice. The texture was making me gag. Every bite I took, I wanted to gag from the texture, not necessarily the volume of food. So I wish I did things differently with that meal. What are you doing, man? You got 10 minutes, boy. You think I could eat this in 10 minutes? I'm gonna do this. Ooh. Everybody but I want to be the bodybuilder, but nobody wants to eat this rice. <laughs> you know what's like keeping me going on a challenge? Me. Just like, this is all such good, expensive, clean food that I don't want to like throw it away. I feel embarrassed to throw it away. Cue the motivational music. Wow. One minute on the clock. Listen, you guys can hold your applause. It's all good. I know. I know. Ooh. All right, guys, that was my clean eating challenge. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out. Honestly, what do you mean? Honestly, dude, I did not think you were going to do that. What do you mean, bro? That's crazy, dude. That's, what do you mean, bro? Dude, that is a lot. Bro. I did, I'm honestly shocked right now. Good job.